Good evening. Welcome to the Wendell Elamine James Show. Today's guest, we have a friend of mine, Sonny. Yes. My buddy. Yes. My little goat. <laughs> How you doing, Sonny? I'm blessed. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. I'm blessed. Glad mm -hmm. to have you on the show, man. Man, good to see you on the show. Glad to have you. Uh, me and Sonny, we, we go way back. But uh, I, wa I want to I wanna ask you a few questions, uh, uh, Sonny. It was, uh, I haven't seen you in a while. You know, uh, you was in prison for how long? Uh, 32 years. For, thir for 32 years? Yes. What was, your, what was your, your charge and what was your judgment? It was a, a second degree murder here in San Francisco. Okay. And you were sentenced to, your sentence was 25 uh, years to life? 16 Se years. 16 years to yes, life? 16 years to life, yes. And you, you wound up doing 32 years? 32 years, 32 double. 32 years. Double, double, double your time? Yes. And where did you do most of your time at? Uh, Gladiator School. Okay. DVI. DVI, Tracy. Tracy. Dual vocation institution. Yes. For, for, for men. Mm-hmm. Okay. At the time that you went to prison, dual vocation institution was uh, more or less like an a educational prison. More you, like a, a trade or well, I mean, as far as as far as trades or whatever. Oh you, yes, you, you yeah, it used to be. <clears throat> used to be. Yeah, it used to be. Okay, but it, it changed over a period of time. Yes, they shut they shut that down from yeah. being able to get uh, certifications and different things. They changed. Yes. It to, okay, it became a prison. Yes. You know, right? Gladiator school. Yes. Right. So you stayed in DVI for how long? Um. All together, about twenty six years. In 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 Tracy. In Tracy. Okay, and and during your time in Tracy, when you first went to Tracy, how old were you when you when you went to Tracy? What was your age? Um, I was uh, twenty six. I was twenty six when I started in Backerville and then Folsom, mm -hmm. Old Folsom. Mm -hmm. and then I got shipped out to uh, Tracy when to I Tracy. was twenty six. Twenty six years old, and you did. Uh, um, during your time in, in, in Tracy DVI, uh, at what time in during your time in Tracy did you realize that you had to change your lifestyle? You had to start my doing, behavior. You had to start start changing your your, your your behavior, your way that you was living. Well, I don't put myself in thinking about how I anticipate my changing my behavior. I went with the flow with the other guys, with the guys in prison. Mm -hmm. I just go along with the program. Mm -hmm. And uh, it ha has nothing to achieve but just to go flow with them. Okay. Just for several years I was doing that. Mm -hmm. And I didn't go nowhere. But just being active as to be around with them and in other words, it's a lot of nonsense. A lot of nonsense. And a lot right. of nonsense of those years. Right, right. So it was, it was, it was time that you did. It was really wasted. Yes. It was really wasted until you decided, that, hey, I got to do something different. Yes, I there was start a, working yes, on myself yeah, to get yes, out of prison. There, right. There because, was a time. Yes. Yeah, because I mean, we can do time in prison, and uh, like you say, just just go go with the flow. Yes. So to speak, but in going with the flow, you see things happening to people. And you yes. say, wait a minute, I don't want that to happen to me. I got to yes. start doing something different in my life because if I don't, I'm going to be in prison. Mm -hmm. I'll be killed in prison. Yes. And at that time, when you was in the gladiator school, they were killing people. Oh, yes, in front of me uh, right. several times. Right, they were killing people. And, you know, this became part of our life, you know, on a daily basis, seeing somebody get hit and put on the gurney and roll across the yard and resume program. Yes. You know, so we saw a lot of that going on in prison. But it came to the point to where you said, Well well let me let me do something different and you stopped and you changed your way of thinking, you changed your way of living and you changed yourself to who you are now. So how did that come about? Well was it was a process. Mm -hmm. There was a process of uh, of being changing on my behavior. I hear things from those people that has become matured in prison. Mm -hmm. And I sit down with them, like you. I sit down with you, talking about how to get anticipate with the programs, mm -hmm. by changing your behavior, changing your manner, changing your life, because of the parole board has applied that for us to to get through the parole 
you know, hearings. So there was a process. I started from the beginning of, uh, well, initiations was uh, in the heat. My first <coughs> hearing of my initiation was, uh, uh, you got to take the programs, but they didn't tell me what programs. Mm -hmm. Then until I went to DVI. Mm -hmm. And then uh, classifications has told me, you want to work or you want to go to school? I don't have no GED. I don't have no diploma. And I said, let me go to school. So I went to school for two years to achieve my GED. In 1985, I, achieved, I took the test at DVI and I finished that GED and achieved the GED diploma. Okay, okay, okay. So, so instead of you going to work, you said, no, I don't want to go to work. I want to get educated. I want to go to yes, school. Yes, I want to go. I want to school. get some out of this. Yes. So that's when you did the, as I say, say again, the, the metamorphosis. Yes. You started changing your way, your life, the way yes. you thought that you needed to get out of prison. Yes. Right. Right. So you, uh, how how many times did you appear have to appear in front of the board of prison? Oh, prison? twelve times. Twelve took you twelve times. Twelve times. One prison. year denial. One year denial. One year denial. One year denial. Is that right? Yes. So. Did you did you did you ever give up hope about ever getting out of prison? Uh no. I uh, come to think about it, then I didn't never occurred to me to uh, to have this kind of uh, less hope or uh, no. I, I don't ha I don't have no idea about or you know think about it. my my hope is just less or hopeless. My hope is to achieve what I need to do and to accomplish what needed to be accomplished. Mm -hmm in regard of uh, the parole board applied to me. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, I and I don't know how to do it because because I was lacking in you know, communication, <coughs> lacking of uh, lacking of how uh, to socialize. Mm -hmm. I was just sit, sit down, sit down persons and listen, mm -hmm. that's it. But when I started of, uh, on my uh, program process, like Gobble Club, they let you talk. Remember the gobble club? The gobble, the, the gobble yeah. club will let you talk. They will teach you how to talk. Right. They'll teach you how to uh, manipulate, influence. Right. right, exactly, exactly. So I learned that. There be a few brothers that had taught me how to talk. Okay. So I learned how to talk. That three years period, for three years, and I practiced, and there was a process of doing my uh, anticipation of talking, and then I anticipate for a lot of programs, okay. like you said, AA, NA, and then a religious program. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of religious program. I have met so many uh, my sponsors of in my religious program, as you know, in the Chaco. Mm -hmm. You know, you you pretty familiar with the Chaco in Preston, and I also am. your Chaco on the other side. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, like yeah, Gilbert, you I know, was a clerk, I, was, I was a clerk for many years. <laughs> yes, yes, you are. <laughs> yes, I know about the job. Yes. Yeah. So, 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 so you uh, you started attending, attending uh, religious services and going to chapel and and, and self help programs. Yes. And that that did you a world of good of you changing to who you are. Oh today. yes, uh, it wasn't easy though, mm -hmm. because the guy, you know, as, as the guys, it forced you to go out. Mm -hmm. Either if you don't go out. You get beat up, mm -hmm. as you know that, mm -hmm. you know, on our part of our. But then uh, I took that heat, mm -hmm. but and yet I am not changing my, my program, mm -hmm. my process, because I'm thinking about my families. Right, right. I'm thinking about my, I was thinking really my families to achieve this for them. Mm -hmm. And also for the victim of families. In, in other words, there's a ecological uh, uh, involved in there, like individual, family, society, community, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the government. Mm -hmm. So all that, they were affected by what I did outside, right? Mm -hmm. But I was thinking about that to get, to get, to be, uh, you know, like to be accepted, mm -hmm. to be accepted. So my thinking is to achieve things need to be done and accomplished. Okay. It's for the family and for the community. So I did that inside. So the price right there, and yet I was flowing with the guys, but less, less more flowing with them, but more program right. I was involved in. Right, right. So you, you the, to the family, <clears throat> the way, you know, I, I tell people that, you know, the crimes that we committed going into the system, we created, we, we, we committed a crime, and whatever crime it was, you know, it was a heinous crime because we got a life sentence. 
right? And we got people that was affected by that, you know, the crime yes. that we committed. You did 30, 30, 32. 32 years yes. for a crime yes. that involved a lot of people to be yes. hurt, some people destroyed. How, how do you feel about that? Uh, before or after? Before, before, before and after. Oh, before and after. Before and after, it was, uh, it was painful for me. Of course, every time I lay down on my bunk, what created that? What formed me to be doing that? What transformed me to get me into the kind of a college uh, uh, self-centered uh, behavior just to hurt people? It, it, it hurt me so bad, and I'm all looking for any words to define what manners that evil thought that ever occurred to me done outside. Mm -hmm. But in, in inside, when I was doing that, it, there was a price for me to, you know, healings, restorations. And I said, I, I must go for it. Mm -hmm. But it hurt me so bad because the pain in me caused the family. Because like you said, I heard you one time, you know, that victim never come back again. He never turn again. Mm -hmm. But the family, every time that birthday of that person, right. they always think about that. So it hurt me so bad every time they thought about the birthday. They thought about uh, they thought about thinking about the person sitting on on a table that the chairs that was empty. Mm -hmm. So all that it was a, all a process in my mind. Mm -hmm. So that it really hurt me. Even now, it hurt me now because mm -hmm. I'm walking with a, a scar in my heart, in my soul. Mm -hmm. I was with the ladies feeding ministry. We went through with the you know homeless feeding ministry. We walk around and looking for the, any any homeless. We have uh, ten bags of uh, you know uh, sandwiches, and then we went through that place, that area where was my crime was. Mm. When I saw it, <coughs> it stopped me. It numbed me. It's so painful thinking about it. When I saw that area. I thought the victim, it, it really hurt me so bad why I did that. Mm -hmm. It still is, until now. I was walking in pain without saying anything. It was a silent pain without telling anybody because they don't know what happened there in that area. Right. They heard about it, right. but they don't know really. It's me yeah, that sure. really yeah, you know, yeah. was carrying that mm -hmm. pain. In me, mm -hmm. until until now, I'm still carrying the pain. Ain't nobody, nobody forget things. Mm -hmm. right. Nobody, you say forget about it and then move on. Mm -hmm. You cannot forget about it, but you can move on. Sure, but that but that's something that you 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 probably never 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 forget. No, you know that's a pain that you never forget. This no. is a crime that you committed, and you're something that you have to live with for the rest of your yes. life. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So you know, people people really need to know that you know we you know people that commit these crimes, you know they. They don't just commit the crime and it goes away. That's something that they hold on to. This is like I said, it was we went temporarily insane for that split second. Yes. Committing that crime. Yes. But it didn't it's not like you stayed out, you came back mm -hmm. after committing that crime because you went to prison and you served thirty two years in prison. Yes. And you changed from who you were then to who you are, who you are now. So let the audience know who you are now. I am now it's totally different. I mean, I'm really totally different because of uh, on my experience based on uh, my three years out now, next month. You've been out three years next month? Next month. Well, congratulations. Yes, congratulations. next month. And uh, think about it. I went through a lot of, a lot of abuse words from the people that I was taking it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was taking it. You're talking about a person is drunk and holding that inside a bus of that bar because it was crowded and this person is drunk and coughing on you, mm -hmm. sneezing on you, mm -hmm. and that breath of alcohol right behind your neck, mm -hmm. and then he was pushing, he was pushing you and everything. I was taking it. I, did, I didn't, I was just, what would be the replacement of this freedom, mm -hmm. doing things what it needed to be done? Mm -hmm. <laughs> freedom yeah. cannot be exchanged, no. cannot be replaced. No. Uh, so many painful years that we went through together. Mm -hmm. And every time you think about those years together inside, it may be 
it's just just like that mm -hmm. a moment of time yeah but freedom every moment of time we all I'm always aware about what's going on around me mm -hmm. right. I will not replace this freedom for any kind of uh, Anything, any, any, anything, anything, anything yeah. any sound, any images, or anything that we freedom, it's priceless. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And that's what I am now because I always think about what I did wrong yesterday and to do what is right today. Mm -hmm. So, so, so when you went, went, went to prison, you. <coughs> You got educated in prison. You got self-help programs. Yes. You know, you got that because you you knew that you had to do something different going yes. in front of the board of prison terms. They yes. expected something more than you had given them yes. going, to, going to before them prior yes. because you went 20, how many times? 30, uh, 12, 12 times. 12 times before yes. the board of prison. You had, you had to convince them. You had to show them that the person that sits before them today yes. is a changed person. Yes. And eventually they saw that. Yes, they, they saw found that. you suitable yes. for parole. I, 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 so you went. Last time you went before the board, you went from the full board and the governor, and they found you suitable and they released you. Yes. Right. How did that feel? Oh, what what it, feeling it was that? It wasn't easy though. The <laughs> feeling that it wasn't easy that feeling, but and yet, it's overwhelming. As you know that when I got that date. You know, you you happy for me? Yes, yes. You happy for me, but uh, for me, it's just another. How am I gonna? It, it's 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 overwhelming joy, and yet looking forward to how what the forward what's what's tomorrow? Right. What's tomorrow? What's tomorrow for me? I'm thinking about what's tomorrow for me. What is the tomorrow for me? I, and I. During that time when I was with you, I'm looking at you. Yes, you're looking at me. Sonny, you're going home. I'm going home too. You say that to me. I'm going home too while you're looking at yourself in the mirror. And then I teach you, you know, and then uh, <laughs> in, in front of the mirror, you are you spending four hours in front of the mirror <laughs> pulling you all your. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, but myself, it's. It always be occurring to me in every day of my life when I was inside. And I said, you know, I'm a religious person now, and I, and I Lord, what's, help me out for tomorrow. Help me out, because I can't do it without you. Mm -hmm. It is impossible for me to get out. It is impossible for me every mm -hmm. step. Mm -hmm. You know, I put myself now in, the, in, my, in my belief. Mm -hmm. As you know that, you know, right, right. my belief. Right. And, uh, well, it's it's overwhelming, mm -hmm. overwhelming. I see joyfully to you know when you see me inside having this, yeah. you know, and you invited me with your program motivation Motivational, program. Yeah, you came you came and spoke a, a few times. Yes, you? I yeah. did. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that yes. was good. That was good. Like, like we like we tell we tell people that you know inside, <clears throat> you know, when you do wrong inside, wrong accepts you inside. When you do right inside, they don't accept you. They don't. No, they, they, don't, they, don't, you know, they don't. It wasn't qualified. It's yeah, not qualified. No, they don't. It's not. They don't. It's not part of something that they accept. So when you do wrong, do do right, they say, "Well, he think he's better. Or he think he's doing that." But no, we're just doing something that's right. See, see, right supersedes bad every day of the year. You know, wrong get, get knocked in the head. But right, you can't. You can't do. You can't knock right now if you're doing right. So that's why we have to continue doing right. That's why when we came back to the society, when we got found suitable for parole, and we came back to the society, the Board of Prison Terms gave us an opportunity to come back to this world and become part of it again. And that's what we're doing. It allowed us to come back into this world, to come back into society. We've been given a form where we can talk to society and let them know who we are because society has thrown us away. Society has thrown us away. They are, they, they're letting us be something that we're not, and we are showing them that we are something other than what they say we are. Yes. Right? Yes. So with that, we want to let society know that we are human. We are not monsters. We make a difference. No, we are not. Right? Yes. And I want to thank you, Sonny, for being on today. Well, thank to you. Thank you for being part of this program. 
You want to let society know who you are, what your futures are, and we appreciate you being part of this. Welcome home. Welcome for the last for the last three years of being out of prison and continuing your life, being part of society. So we want to thank you for coming on to the Wendell Elamine James Show. And every Saturday night at 7 o'clock, we're going to be on television letting people know who we are, what we are, and what our futures go for the future. So we want to thank you for coming on tonight. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank yeah, you. Thank and you so tune much. in next Saturday at 7 o'clock. Thank you.